but uh, this one's my personal favorite, so we'll go with that. Oh, no, I need to hold on. Okay, false, false alarm, false alarm. Okay, let's go ahead and do this thing. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. So, uh, this is obviously gonna be a one CC attempt, but I am gonna be trying to do a score run of this and uh, showing off how some of the scoring mechanics work in this game here. Um, the main thing you're gonna notice right off the bat here is you'll notice this slipstream icon uh, popping up whenever I am trailing behind vehicles. So if so, that gives you a speed boost, and if you start slipstream fast enough, you'll notice that it'll start flashing rapidly. So you'll actually start gaining uh, bonus points while doing so. Uh, also, what slipstream does is that you get a bonus for passing each uh, vehicle, including your this rival up here. And if you're if you slipstream behind a vehicle and then pass it, you get double the value. But if you hit that vehicle before passing it, it cuts the value in half. So you basically want to travel behind cars and drive as cleanly as possible. Uh, there is also another hidden bonus called the Bunky Bonus in this game, which I just showed off there. Uh, if you're slipstreaming when you go through a check checkpoint, or where like where the, fork, the road forks in the two there, the, those junctions, if you're slipstreaming fast enough when you go over those lines, it gives you like a bonus value. I think it's like about 45,000 each time. And uh, over 15 stages, that adds up a lot. So I'm going to try and go get those bonuses as much as I can here. And uh, for, the, for the example there of the drifting mechanics in this game, there's two ways you can drift. Uh, one is braking into a turn there is the simpler approach to do so. But most of the time, I'm going to be doing uh, gear shift drifting, which is... Okay, that car got banished. Uh, but gear shift drifting is you uh, shift down going to the turn and then shift back up right away. And that's more preferable because you lose, le lose less speed compared to uh, doing brake drifting. So not the cleanest stage two there, but that's alright. Okay, these first stages are relatively simple, like it takes you like through the Kind of like the beginner stages, and then the next five will be like the usually the middle stages when you're on most uh, uh, routes in this game. And the last five stages will be the uh, the end stages that you normally do when you're doing goal runs. All right. Anyways, we're gonna drift here, get the inside pass on that rival, and this one here do a drift, and then I'm actually gonna feather the throttle here so I don't go into the grass, like so. Oh. oh. Okay, lost a little bit of control there. But yeah, you really want to get those uh, slipstream passes and those rivals. That's 50,000 apiece. That adds up considerably. Uh, also, follows. There we go. Follow that RV through. The RVs that are like going at 180 miles per hour, just like the rest of the other traffic in this game. Interesting point to keep in mind there. Uh, so this turn there, we'll just take that. Don't need a drift. This one we will need a drift though. And get the tag behind that car there. Uh, okay, that was, there we go. So let's see, I'd like to get a lot of speed going through this tunnel here. So try to trail behind this RV and then do that. Oh, oh god, oh, on my way Fiesta. I almost got the bonus off. That's one of the harder bunky bonuses to get is off of that junction there. And yeah, you actually have a uh, there's a time limit to pass your rivals to get the, the max bonus there. So if you take too long, even if you slipstream behind a rival to pass them, it only gives you the, the normal 25,000. So this stage is one of the more deceptive ones. There's a lot of turns that looks like you have to drift through like this S curve. You can just go right through this. As long as you got the right line, and then you do have to do a drift here. Then this S curve, you will have to kind of chain drifts through there. This turn should okay. That one you do have the drift and more. Oh, 
Oh, oh that was a sun lane change in that car there, but it worked out. <laughs> Uh, I am also trying to pass, like these interstitial areas, I'm trying to pass vehicles in a certain a certain timing to manipulate other vehicles that spawn up the, up the road, so I can follow those to get the bunky bonuses on the checkpoints. Uh, so I want to get a slipstream behind this truck up here, because that's worth 15,000. There we go. Uh, so this is a deceptive turn here. You want to really lean into uh, this down slope here, uh, but you do want to also slow your speed down. It's really easy to clip the rival there if you're going too fast. And then we're just going to follow this rival here through this junction. Like so. Oh, I think I clipped him. Uh, okay, that's gonna cost me some points. Yeah, see, I only got uh, 12.5 when I ran into him. This stage here isn't, isn't too bad. There's a lot of white turns, but you get a lot of space to work with, so this is kind of a, kind of a, uh, a place to breathe in the middle of the run. Just a big old S curve here. And we'll just get this pass here. I'd like to get past this guy right away. Okay, so that should cause another car to spawn up the road here. Okay, perfect. Okay, I can use this to get the bonus. Nice. And then I'm gonna try to get past this rival here as fast as I can. Okay, try a trail behind this car here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, bashing that car to X Dimension was worth getting a bunky bonus off of that. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background here, but not too bad. Uh, this turn here, it looks like you have to drift, but if you can approach the line just right, you can actually just do a normal turn there, and then this one you just do a tight drift. And then... Big old drift coming up here, just try to build up speed before that. Uh, I'm gonna go a little wide so I don't clip that bus. And then this one here looks weird, you just... Okay. Yeah, so you're supposed to take that one more tightly. I went a little too shallow on that first drift there, so I uh, ate that railing there. But if you do that tight enough, then you just follow the inside there. Going inside this one. Ow, oh, you jerk. Alright, so this tunnel here. And drift through here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to watch out for in this stage, especially up here. It's gonna be a lot of semis. They're worth a lot of points, but they also get in your way, so. Hopefully, they're not jerks and too grouped up. We'll see. Whoa, I think that one breaks suddenly. Okay, so there we go. Tight drift. Also, best vehicle in the game coming up. Dog, dog, dog. All right, one more S here. All right, there we go. All right, so jungle coming up here. Hopefully this goes well. This is usually one of the rougher stages when doing uh, all stage runs of this. That. Okay, so we're the drift here. Uh, chain this drift into here, and then need to feather the throttle so I don't go into the mud. Alright, so this curve right here, tiny drift, and immediately leans to the left there so you don't need the railing. And then we're just gonna follow this rival until we get the straightaway so we can go by him. Okay, so this turn, oh, this turn coming up here. Don't want to eat rocks, so can uh, slow a little bit, just be safe. And that happened. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that is like the that is one of the worst turns in the game right there. But yeah, unfortunately, that rival got away. 
But uh, now we're coming up on the, the last third of the runs. So these are these stages here are all the stages. If you're doing like single goal runs, these are the uh, end stages coming up here that you would normally run into. Okay, I'm trying to do a tight drift here. I want to get behind this bus. There we go. Sometimes you can get inside past that rival, but he was going a little fast there. And this one here, he might go get an early pass on. We'll see. He had a little bit of a head start, so he might just have the trail behind him for now. Yeah, I think we're just going to trail here. All right, that's fine. All right, now we can get the safe pass. So on Legend here, so this turn coming up, if you can get the line just right, you don't even have the drift on here. So hopefully I get this just right. I think we're good. Oh, there we go. Lovely. All right. So this one, we're just going to keep straight on going through this curve here. Uh, damn, make that rival. Uh, so we do this drift here, and then we're not going to follow it through. We're going to straighten out so that we maintain speed going through this curve here. And then hopefully I can do a drift chain coming up here. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, but what you want to do there is as you're drifting to that hairpin at the apex, you actually want to initiate another drift and that'll allow you to uh, retain traction going through there. That way you can get the, an easy inside pass. All right, here, this turn we can just take normally. And then just gonna go straight through here. There we go. All then hopefully get an early pass here before the bridge. That would be really nice. There we go. That'll make things a lot easier. And then just a couple shallow drips here, and yeah, that's all there really is to this stage. All right, one of the rougher stages, Melky Way, coming up here. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of septic turns here. So hopefully things play in my favor. This turn here, first one's gonna be okay, but I need to let out the throttle for this one so I don't eat the sides there. Okay, that works. I'm gonna try to get this pass here. Oh, that was ugly. Yeah, okay, I think I lost both rivals, unfortunately, there. Well, at least I don't have to worry about anything else for the rest of this stage, uh, except for this last turn here. Alright, so not how I was expecting that stage to go there, but it's fine. It's all good. Alright, so final stage of skyscrapers here. A, lot, a couple of deceptive turns in the beginning here. Just take those wide and gonna do some big old drips here. Get the uh, taxi out of the way here. And now comes the Widowmaker. So this hairpin here, as soon as you turn in this, you actually need to break so that you don't hit the rail there. Of course, uh, if you get your timing wrong, then you end up hitting the other rail. Alright, well... Okay, we'll just cruise this on over to the finish line here. Alright, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Alright, still 1cc.
couple rough spots there, I will say. Not quite what I expected, but it's all good. Our girlfriend's happy, that's all that matters. was quite high enough to get on the permanent high score board, but still. Yeah, not quite enough, unfortunately. But yeah, that was... That was over on our line arcade there. Game over. So, yeah, that'll do that, and, uh, gonna take a moment here to switch platforms, and, uh, next up will be, uh, join us some OutRun. So, uh, stay tuned for that.